Hello everyone, thank you for joining this talk. My name is Yair Herbst. I am graduating my PhD at the Technion, and I will present the research I conducted with Professor Alon Wolf and Professor Lee Tselnik Mano. We developed a device called Yugo, which is a high resolution tactile emulator for complex surfaces. Let's start with a brief introduction about the way we sense objects and devices that can recreate the sensation. We have two systems involved in our sense of touch. The tactile feedback system, which is based on the counter-receptors in our skin, which can sense pressure, friction, and vibrations. And the kinesthetic or spontaneous feedback system that can sense movements through our joints and forces through our muscles. In order to obtain knowledge about an object, humans use distinct hand movements to recognize specific object properties. For example, lateral motion for sensing texture and following contours for sensing shapes. There are countless existing haptic devices for displaying geometric information. Large rounded devices that emulate 3D surfaces were suggested. These surfaces allow full hand exploration, but in most cases in low resolution, and therefore are not suitable for complex surfaces. Wearable pin arrays with similar capabilities have also been suggested. Finger-mounted devices that emulate a small section of the surface while tracking finger movements were mostly aimed at a single modality, such as hardness or friction, and were not designed to display high-resolution geometric information. More recently, new multimodal devices have also been published. However, these are mostly aimed at mechanical properties. Examples are shown for both the wearable and the mouse-based device. Basically, the overreaching goal of our research was to develop a device capable of conveying a wide range of tactile sensations to emulate virtual, complex, real-world surfaces. Or in other words, we wanted the digitized sense of touch. Let's move over to the system architecture of Hugo, the device we developed. Hugo stands for a high-resolution UX for geometrical objects, which is the main benefit of this device, recreating high-resolution 3D surfaces. Hugo can mechanically stimulate multiple mechanoreceptors and was actually designed by reverse engineering the sensing capabilities of those mechanoreceptors. We developed two versions of the device, a wearable version and a computer mouse-based version. The resulting feedback by the device is very accurate and works in multiple scales. I will explain this in more details in the next slides. Hugo operates in very high frequencies and in real time, and the feedback can be personalized per user. Hugo is divided into two main subsystems, a 3RRS parallel manipulator with th which has three degrees of freedom, translation along the z-axis and rotation around the x and y-axis as shown in the six figures on the left. The second subsystem is a 5x5 high-frequency pin array as shown in the right figure. As mentioned, one of the key ideas behind Hugo is the decomposition into multiple scales, mainly macro and micro geometry. The macro geometry with a typical resolution of 10 by 10 millimeters is emulated by the parallel manipulator, which follows the surface normal at the finger position. The micro geometry or surface roughness is emulated by setting the DC position of each of the pins in the pin array. As shown in the example here, if the user follows the contour of each of the heels, they will be able to feel the surface normal changing along the path. The difference between the two heels will be emulated by the pin array. Lastly, the pins can also vibrate around the DC position to emulate fine surface roughness. Another key idea behind Hugo is that of object exploration. For that reason, we use very accurate tracking systems. The tracking system is used to determine location data, which is sent to a Unity app. A screenshot of the Unity app is shown here with an e-commerce application where the user can move the hand avatar and try and fill the fabric. New motor commands are calculated in real time and sent through the electronics to the 3RRS parallel manipulator and the pin array. While we claim Hugo provides high resolution feedback, we only have 25 pins with 2 mm spacing between them. This apparent clash is resolved by the exploration movements performed by the user and can be explained by the super resolution concept used in computer vision. The users move their finger along the surface. At every point, the feedback is given in low resolution. With the high operation frequency and the high accuracy tracking, the users can recreate the high resolution representation and memory by 
combining these low resolution samples. This process is very similar to how humans sense objects with their actual hands. Let's move on to the experimental setup and validation results for the device. An extensive set of experiments was conducted to validate the performance of the device. Under the scope of this talk, I will focus on the real-world surface recognition task, as this was the main focus of our research. For the real-world surface recognition task, we used PBR materials, which are based on 3D scans of actual surfaces. We had 10 categories of three similar surfaces. The users were asked to match the sensed surfaces to corresponding images. This was done in two testing conditions, touching the digital surfaces using the device, and the control setup where users touch the surface with their actual hand. In both conditions, the surfaces were covered such that no visual information was given to the user. An example of a group of surfaces is shown here, and all groups are shown at the bottom. Users achieved 86% success rate with the device, with an average completion time of 113 seconds, and 97% success rate with an average completion time of 66 seconds in the control setup. While there is a significant difference between the values, the results show that the device offers a significant benefit, especially when considering the complexity of the surfaces and the task. Moreover, for some of the group, the, the performance difference between the testing conditions is not significant. Lastly, it is worth pointing out that the task took users over one minute to complete, even when using their actual hands. This shows that the task was not trivial at all. The comparison to previous studies is not straightforward. Every device was tested on a different set of surfaces. However, most were tested on synthetic 2D outlines, ranging from simple lines to more complicated layers. The, this table shows that the results obtained with Hugo are in the same ballpark as previous studies, while being tested on complex, real-world surfaces. To sum up, we present Hugo, a device capable of emulating complex real-world surfaces in high resolution and in multiple scales. Hugo can be used in a plethora of applications, such as sensor rehabilitation and e-commerce. Moreover, the surfaces and processes used in our experiments are shared and offer a new benchmark for haptic devices based on real-world surfaces. Thank you for listening, and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.